So this little angel is ready for school. I'm gonna get her dropped off and I'm gonna head to work. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> so it's so crazy how it's so dark. It's seven o'clock and it's dark. Um, but that'll all change soon because this week or this Sunday is daylight savings time. So we will get to fall back. Um, but yeah, I'm just sitting here driving. It's cold today. And back to work, y'all. Back to work. Let me know what's on your agenda for today. If you are still able to work from home, if you're working outside of the home, if um, you know you're working in your home as a stay-at-home mom, that's work too. Um, are you a homeschooling mama? What is happening? I love the fact that I don't live too far from every place that I need to go. Like I'm close to the grocery store, I'm close to McKinley School, I'm close to the school that I work at. Um, so nothing takes me too far out of the way. When I hear people who have like 30, 45 to an hour um, commute, I'm like, sorry, sorry. I don't know anything about that lifestyle. So I love that, um, I think it's TikTok or I always see it in Reels. It's like, I don't know nothing about that lifestyle. That's not me. <laughs> I'm always dying laughing. That one and the, um, the one about calling in is like, calling out tomorrow, show Liz. I'm like, man, I can go down a rabbit hole with watching reels at night. It's probably not good, but I do. So let me know what you guys have going on and I'll check in with you guys when I get to work. It's really like walking a country mile to my school building. We have to park so far away and it's cold. And this mask is giving me warmth right now. So I am not going to complain. Y'all, it is cold. Hey friends, thank you all for hanging out with me, just sharing a little real life <laughs> with you guys. Um, so I have gotten McKinley to school and we had a little car chat and now I'm just getting my bag unpacked and getting ready to get my day started, 
every morning when I come in. I like to take down my chairs because our just phenomenal custodians will always make sure the floors are nice and clean and they do a lot of disinfecting. But I just do overkill, so I take down all the chairs and I always Lysol and try to let some sunlight in by raising the blinds. I don't like to make them super bright because a lot of students don't like that. And then I also will dim my lights because it's a little overwhelming throughout the day. Um, but I'm just kind of going through that whole process. Anybody who you know is absent, I'll make sure I put their makeup work on their desk and things like that. And yeah, now I will tell you that my goal was to check in with you guys during my lunch and during my planning but y'all teacher life is no joke so yeah For the day I like to have it laid out so that I'm not scrambling trying to do anything um, so these are the things that I will need most of the items they have in their books already but there are some things that we would need for the day and I just like to have it laid out so that I'm not somewhere crazy trying to find handouts um, I also like to solve things the way that I think they will solve them because in my opinion like if I solve it and you know it's like not a good task then we don't do it <laughs> that's how I feel so like I like to solve things the way that my students think or the way that I think they will think and yeah so that's what I do I won't always tell them I will not give them anything that I'm not willing to do myself because what's the point? I'm no better than them. So if they can do it, I can do it. I'm feeling way too low to start this night by. So I will first start off by saying a shout out to all of the bloggers that kill it every single day because like I said my goal was to check in a little bit more but yeah it just didn't happen and I apologize and I didn't make my bed this morning but I don't care what time it is it can be 8 15 and I'm going to bed at 9 o'clock I am going to make my bed I don't know why but I just I will do it and yes some mornings I fail I don't get it done before I leave the house and when that's the case, I will do it when I get home. At some point, that bed will be made daily. So that is what I am doing now. And then on this particular day, it was, I wanted to go to the gym, but I had some other things happening, but I did go outside and work out. And honestly, that workout was worse than anything I would have ever done at the gym. So if, you know you don't want to go into the gym your backyard will do so i started off with jump roping which is no joke i don't know how i sustained this as a kid because i loved double dutch and all that and then i decided to tackle the hill which y'all is really 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 steep it may not look that bad but it's a beast
Now it is a weekly goal of mine to iron everything on Sunday so that it's ready to go and that's like one less thing to do but it doesn't always happen like I said it's a goal and I do meet it a good deal of the time but there's just times where it doesn't happen but I refuse to go anywhere wrinkled and my grandmother would have a fit if she found out I was not pressing our clothes which is what she says um, but during this time McKinley is reading to me and I like to question her about the text and go into vocabulary and main ideas, supporting details. We look at dialogue and, you know, we talk about the author's purpose and, you know, just really making sure that she's pulling things out of the text. Um, one thing that, you know, we often confuse readers with word callers, and those are students that just know the words on the page. But reading literacy overall is reading and writing. And so you want to make sure that they are able to comprehend what they are reading and they're able to pull out, you know, things from the text. And you want to always question your child if at all possible, just, you know, have them write a few, you know, sentences about what they've learned from the text, just anything that takes it a step further, because again, we often confuse readers as word callers and I really didn't mean to go off on a teacher tangent but I did <laughs> I just guys literacy is like so important to me and there's so many statistics around the trajectory of a child's life when they fail to learn how to read by third grade and so it is just one of those things that I don't care what they're reading. It could be the newspaper, comic book, anything. Just get something in their hands and let them read and, you know, talk to them about it. Um, but I'm going to get off my soapbox and go ahead and close out this video. No worries. I know that I've uploaded some bonus videos, but there will be a full cleaning video uploaded on Sunday. So don't worry. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and getting a dose of this real life. And I will see you guys on Sunday. Mwah.